and he'll take a beautiful video about that and we want your input on the same topic in your country as well good morning cedric good morning king peter how Th are you thank you for giving me my <laughs> official title yes oh, absolutely uh, a bit of respect in the studio i like it i'm gonna have to tell all the other guests <laughs> address me in the correct manner otherwise what, what do you do as a king off with your head right exactly i'm not sure i'm allowed to do that i, I don't think i have that right but anyway i'll feel good saying it uh cedric i saw on your social media that you're doing a big drive for charity. Yeah, I am. Uh, my birthday is coming up in Ooh. right under two weeks. Oh, really? Okay, and, that's nice. Yeah, and I won't tell you the age, but when I talk about the charity, mm -hmm. uh, you could probably <laughs> guess what the the age is, but we're doing uh, $35 donations to a charity uh, uh -huh. that is... Their, their aim is to provide clean water to every single human being on the planet, or at least access to it. Okay, that's a wonderful cause. So this isn't necessarily linked to career specifically, but getting clean water wherever it is needed. Exactly. Okay. And they have the, the general numbers of people who do not have access to clean water. Uh -huh. And so their mission is to, to make sure that every person on this planet is provided with access to the water. And that really needs to be a basic right, doesn't yeah, it? I exactly. mean, I'm sure we've all seen the documentaries of people in lots of places like sub-Saharan Africa where they have to walk hours to just get not even clean water as well. Sometimes it's dirty. It's isn't contaminated it? yeah. and source of diseases. And so, you know, I, I thought this year, because I'm not big on receiving gifts, I, I figured, really? you know, if anyone wants to, uh -huh. to give yeah. to me or just say happy birthday, maybe they can consider giving to this charity. What a wonderful idea. So $35. I feel there's a clue there. Maybe <laughs> if you add the three and the five, you're 18, I think. I, yeah, I that's think, what we're yeah, going for. Yeah, let's go for. with that. Um, brilliant. You can find stuff about that out on Cedric's social media pages. Sky Ceddy, you can search out. Uh, I'm definitely going to donate to that. So if I forget, remind me. Oh, Cedric, thank you so much. Hound me until I give you the money, okay? <laughs> That's a wonderful course. You're like one of the idols these days because they like doing on their birthday, the fans, like giving mm -hmm. in their name. Is that what you're going for? You're uh, trying to sneak your way through secret. the back door. <laughs> the cat's out the bag. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Uh, have you had a good week, Cedric? Anything interesting happened over the past seven days since we last saw you? Um, you know, this week has been quite uneventful for me. You okay. know, just doing some work and a little bit of editing, but, uh, you know, staying busy. You staying as per safe usual. with the coronavirus whole hoo ha, keeping a mask on? Yes, yes. You know, except for the past two days, to be honest with you, I, I didn't put on my mask. Oh, dear. But, yeah. Yeah, on, yeah, it's Cedric. already the, <laughs> yeah. So the excitement for keeping safe has, yeah. has faded away <laughs> since last down. week. I, I think the like rates of new infections are kind of slowing down. So hopefully we'll be able to get through this hairy stage. But it seems like loads of people are taking on board the news, like washing your hands for thirty seconds. I see many people in the mm -hmm. toilets really washing and scrubbing their hands viciously, which is great. <laughs> Hopefully, if right. anything good can come out of this, we can learn those new habits, right, for the long term. Uh, today's hashtag, before we get on to your video topic, is health or kongang. We've often talked about you working out often. Sure. Did you do it this morning as well? I did. Wow, every time, without a fail, Cedric, amazing. <laughs> I have proof. I have my workout gear uh, over to the side here. You're going to bring it out and I'll sniff it to check if it's been used. Well, you know, I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> I don't know if any <laughs> listeners want to. I will, but yes, don't ask me to. Uh, but on the food side of things, mm -hmm. do you like have a certain diet that you stick to to keep your health maintained uh no uh not not these days okay. and i'm ashamed to say that because i used to be very very particular with what i eat how many calories i consume the fat protein carbohydrate oh really down yes i i used to be uh you know the guy that would food prep and, wow. and cook food for a couple of days out and just put it in tupperware and and go about my day. That's amazing. But I, I would have to say, ever since I moved to Korea about two years ago, <laughs> uh, that, you know, I still haven't fallen into a groove of healthy eating here. Okay. Not that I eat like trash okay. most of the time. What's uh, your regular daily meal like outlet then, Cedric? Well, I usually purchase, um, you know, I'll purchase 
cheap food, fast foods, uh, and fast food in Korea is certainly has a different context We're not or nuance. Just hamburgers and exactly, French fries, right? exactly. So sometimes I'll get like kimbap or, okay. or something like that. That seems healthy, to right? Me, or like jjigae, right? or you know, something fast, quick, and cheap. Okay, a nice soup. Yeah. Right. Occasionally, I'll splurge on you know Korean barbecue, lovely jubbly, things like that. So some meat. Not the best. Certainly not the worst. I've had I've had worse yeah. habits in the past. But... I would say if you're eating out in Korea, it's much easier to be a bit more healthy than mm-hmm. in the states or the UK, where eating out will often imply that you're having some terrible food for you and you look in good shape everyone's on board uh, yana saying you look nice today birthday coming up soon the charity id for a birthday is really good i treat my friends to food when it's my birthday brings lots of happiness yeah in korea there's that tradition isn't it if it's your birthday or you've got a big good event happen to you you pay for everything whereas i feel in the uk like if it's your birthday many people will pay for you the right. opposite way it's kind of interesting i don't want too many good things to happen to me here <laughs> otherwise i'll be out of pocket yeah <laughs> uh completely unrelated faz says but arsenal the football team that peter supports they signed a new player called cedric soares are you familiar with a fellow Cedric? Do you guys have like a clan or a group? No, but I think that was a good decision, whoever this guy is. <laughs> He's not bad. I'm not sure if he'll be a first team player, mm-hmm. but I think more for the bench. But it's lovely to have another Cedric on board. Uh, today's topic then for the video. We're going to be talking about unique subway spaces here in Korea. Unique subway spaces in Korea. You're a subway rider is yeah. that what we call the passenger i suppose y- yeah i would say 90 percent of my uh, public transportation usage is in the subway okay did mm-hmm. you take it today to get here i did but i also took the bus as well to get to the gym first how do you like the subway i i love it compared to what i was used to in the states uh-huh. and for those of you guys that don't know i used to work in new york city for two years and Ooh, so that's got I, a subway system hasn't oh, it oh yes it does and it's very old outdated dirty <laughs> and occasional rats would just pop up and, and hang out with with you so really yeah it's really a thing it's oh really a thing goodness. very common like on the no platform um uh, not so much on the platform that i've seen but uh-huh. usually where the tracks are okay. you see the rats there yeah i've not seen that in korea to be honest i have not either i'm i must assume they there might be some in the tunnels and stuff but you never see them but in the uk as well you're right like rats would just scurry along down there and you'd right. be like oh this is interesting yeah and these guys are huge in new york city but you know <laughs> what i really appreciate about the subway system systems here is the it's i feel like it's more safe Mm -hmm. uh there are guard doors as well so you can't Uh, fall on the tracks you can't fall on the tracks whereas in new york city uh you can just simply and and people actually fall on the tracks whether they're drunk or you know you know it can be disastrous yeah worst case scenario you know they're purposefully going Uh on the tracks i mean that's been known to happen too so i'm glad that korea puts those safety measures there yeah the screen doors are brilliant isn't it i think as part of that decision was also there were a spate of suicides so Mm. it's completely removed that option now you can't do it so easily uh so your first video what are we taking a look at so i go to two different subway stations and i'm going to show you a few unique spaces there and we're going to start with the 5g gallery so let's take a look a 5g gallery we're talking like mobile networks here are we yeah so so now we're going to the 5g gallery which is in kondokyo okay this is more it's all about more of an art gallery just a creative little uh, oh art on a platform why are you waiting for link to 5g no i thought it was to be honest with you so i was surprised like prints on the like platform yeah wow. and and it's it's the i don't know what you call those but when you kind of move ah uh, they change, they change. Like one of these two not hologram to actually be able like. to view right this through your phone and this is pretty cool something here. special that happens so that's what we're doing right now you download an app yeah and then you point the what? app towards the picture Whoa. and then it begins to move and oh. it does some some cool little things it's ar like augmented it, exactly. reality Oh, that's fun, isn't it? And this was really cool too. Naksung Pyong uh, Station has like this underground art gallery. Oh, and it also has a lot of like arts. a traditional art gallery. Wow. Oh, with right. plants. Like yeah. a plant gallery. So it's like a plant gallery. There's also some art there. I, I didn't really uh, video that too much. Oh, it's lovely. Are they real plants? They are real plants. Oh. Oh, wait, is that where you get the natural light from yes. up top? Yeah, so there's a big dome That's that amazing. Becky is looking at. 
That's at Noksa Pyeong near Itaewon. Yes. Oh, yes, wow. Yes, I think it's one stop away from Itaewon. They spruced that up. When I that... used to go, I didn't like that station oh, so really? much. It was a bit yeah. empty and yeah. not much in there. No, it's it's really nice. It feels refreshing. Yeah. I feel like the air is just cleaner there. Sure. And that's a big thing plants, in Korea. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Especially underground locations, it can often get stuffy. The subway systems here are great at ventilation, but having the plants, what a wonderful idea. If that's possible, mm-hmm. to have real plants downstairs. You and know? you don't realize uh, how much Seoul, the city of Seoul, is missing a lot of greenery until you see a bunch of plants in one place. And yeah. So, yeah, and it's really like, wow, impressive. what's that? <laughs> uh, it is getting better and better because when I first came, I really missed the UK for its green. Just like mm-hmm. grass is everywhere in London, there's lots of open spaces, whereas in Seoul, there's so many buildings it's hard to get there but i feel like we're getting more and more green spaces parks and stuff but indoors as well seeing plants like that our office has a good uh, few pot plants which makes me feel like i'm breathing in some yeah. fresh air it's always nice jewel Eman ladu says wow i love the art there yeah in the subway stations you can get creative like that right on the platforms waiting it can be boring but what a good idea to have some interactive we saw pengsu there didn't we the, mm-hmm. the giant penguin yes. and stuff uh that's a wonderful idea and i feel like a lot of stations here are more spacious than the uk not sure about new york but the subway stations there's not that much space to have exhibitions and things like that right yeah and some stations are even huge i would say like the platforms but yeah new york uh you have some big ones and small ones but uh, do they have anything like this like art installations and stuff that you that you recall i i don't remember i mean i just remember certain dedicated areas where maybe they allow buskers to go and perform so that sort of art they they did allow but i believe you had to pay for that as oh, a busker. You really? couldn't just set up shop. And... You rent the space, so to yeah. speak. That's interesting. Yeah, one thing that is missing maybe for Korean subways is the buskers. I don't hmm. often see any buskers anymore. There used to be some people who come on the subway trains with a big speaker, play a CD, and they'd sell it to you. But I think they banned that. I haven't seen that in ages. Uh, let's get on to some more music, and then we'll be back with Cedric's second video and some content from our listeners as well. Not too late to send in photos, messages, and videos about subway systems in your country. Here's Ang Miu with On the Subway, Chia Chaudesa. We are back for part two of, not K-Time Playtime, we've still got the wrong thing on the song, uh, <laughs> Kyushi, I see, uh, K-Patch, where we dispatch Cedric on a certain topic, and then he takes some beautiful videos, often with Becky. Thank you, Becky. Shout Thank out you. to her for Thank being you, in Becky. our videos. Uh, it means your dates are often themed around K-Patch, I feel. It's good for you in a way. It is. You don't have to come up with ideas every right, it's week a, it's for a unique guaranteed dates. Date. Yeah. yeah. And you know... They've got that thing in Korea. I think it's a thing in the States and the UK as well. What is it? Uh, movie, dinner, coffee. Mm-hmm. That tired old routine. <laughs> Subway station, plants, art right. on the platform. Exactly. You're the best boyfriend ever. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. We've got some messages to read out. Donna from New York, where you used to live as well, says, yeah, rats on the platform, Cedric. They swarmed when I had visitors. That's not a good look for tourists to New York, no, I'm sure. Not a good impression. And you said, yeah, buskers in New York City, they need the OK from the MTA, which which runs the public transport system. Uh, so you've got to get permission in advance. That's, I guess, a good idea for maybe quality control. But at the same time, if it's expensive to maybe rent this space, it might put some little buskers off, I suppose. Right. Yeah. But if you're good enough, you'll definitely make the money, I think. Really? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen their guitar cases with a bunch of cash in oh, it. So. Maybe we should whip ours out. <laughs> <laughs> Yana says, I think I went to that station too, talking about Nook Sapyong Station, the last location that you saw in the video. Yeah. And she says she loves all the plants. It is yes. a wonderful place, isn't it? Jewel says from the US, just want to say thank you for all you do on the show. Please stay safe. Sending lots of love, hugs and prayers. Love you all. Oh, thank you, Jewel. And he also complimented for your uh, charity drive for your birthday as well on Naver V Live. In fact, send us in your email address, Jewel, and you can be today's prize winner, uh, sharing the love there on V Live. Uh, we also had a message about the New York subway system, again from Donna. Did you partake in this? Every day, apparently, sorry, every year, every day would be a bit extreme, <laughs> there's a no pants day on the subway system in New York. And the whole point is to show off your underwear so you're not going to cheat by wearing a skirt. Did did you do this, Cedric? I can confirm, of course, the the reality of this 
annual thing, yes. but I never partook of it. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, it's Did really Did you ever weird. see it in person? I didn't see it in person, okay. no. So um, it's not like everyone does it, right? It's a bit of a unique yeah, person thing. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of media coverage, so you, you, you'll see a lot of people in uh-huh. the media doing it, but I don't know how many actually do it. But it's it's so weird because there's just <laughs> random people going to work. Yes. And they have their briefcase and they're just like... <laughs> Wearing no pants, literally. No pa- I wonder what the origin to that thing is. Was it just for a laugh or is there a deeper meaning? I don't know, like let's liberate our legs or something right, like um, that. Yeah, they're, New Yorkers are known to do crazy things like that. It's lovely to and see. And Hive Siska says, Nambu bur- bus terminal, excuse me, mm-hmm. needs something fun there. <laughs> ah, because that's the station quite close to Arirang Radio. Maybe we should have like an Arirang installation there. Encourage mm. people to come on over from Nambu bus terminal. Right. I, th- I think I think I've been once or twice. I don't quite remember how the terminal looks. That's because there's nothing there. Yeah, even the bus station is a little bit low key. It's not like the express bus terminal, Kosok Terminal, which is quite fancy with a shopping centre and everything. I used to live near Nambu Bus Terminal. You're right, Siska. Come on, Nambu. Get your finger out your bottom and do something (laughs) fun, please. Uh, Yana says, subway stations in Korea, they're really unique, not all made in the same mould. In Malaysia, it's all the same. The difference is on maybe high how from the ground it is uh, more than anything because a lot of our subway system is actually just a train system because it runs over ground. That's interesting. And in Korea, the interesting fact is I think all the subway lines go over the River Hun. Like you can see them going over the bridge and stuff. In the yeah. UK, most, if not all, underground trains go under the River Thames. So you're like just in pitch darkness under right. there. Uh, let's get on to your second video then, Cedric. What are we going to see in this? Awesome. Excited to show you guys this because this is actually going to be a subway station where uh, a popular music video was filmed. Ooh. And the name of the song is Hapjong Yok Obon Chulgu or Hapjong Station. Uh, exit, exit five. five. Really? Yeah, so That's the name. What a catchy name! <laughs> yeah, so let's let's take a watch on this, and then uh, you guys get to see this famous location. This was in the music video, was yeah. it? Oh, by Yu Je Sok. Yes. Oh, that yes, was yes. his new trot persona, I think. Yu San Su. Right. So this is the famous video. Exit Five. It is. Okay, so a lot of times these K-pop artists will film outside of subway stations or in subway stations. There's a lot of popular music videos. For example, Blackpink, they filmed in a set that looks like Singapore's MRT station and also twice filmed in a subway station in Vancouver. Well, what about Korea? We're actually standing outside of one of the music video spots for Hap Jung Yuk Obon Chulgu, one of the funny music videos that you can check out and it's right over here. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just uh, a, an exit. Okay. Really? So I think they just kind of chose a spot to, to film it. <laughs> it's just, uh, I think the subway itself is a nice location inside. Mm-hmm. But yeah, some of the exits in Korea are very iconic, like some of the Gangnam Station exits. Right. Because you get hundreds, if not thousands of people going in and out every hour. But that one, yeah, Hapjong, I think you just it was just taking a funny look at things, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. So just a normal station. Um, and also in this video, there are two other stations that appeared, uh-huh. uh, which is Mang One Station and Sangsu Station oh, okay, as well. So they're in that whole area up by Hapjong Hong there. Yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys. Yeah, that's a regular subway station. I'm sure in your country as well, local pop stars have probably used transport in their videos. It's yeah. kind of a fun background to things, isn't it? Yeah, it just looks epic and raw. Yeah. Uh, and one of my favorites is, and I don't know if you guys know this, but mm-hmm. one of Michael Jackson's uh, uh-huh. most popular videos in the 80s was yeah. filmed at a subway station in New York City. Which but a closed song? Down. Bad. Bad was yes. it? I don't remember Bad's music yeah. video. I've recently been watching Thriller a lot with my kids because mm-hmm. they like to see the zombies and stuff. They get freaked out, but they're like, play it again, Dad. <laughs> they hide behind their pillows. Bad was on the subway, was it? It was. Oh, was he doing all his dancing on there? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. The one that I remember from Korea and maybe the first Korean hit that many of you got into K-pop through, Gangnam Style has Hyuna 
dancing on the subway with Sai, I remember from that video. And that's on, I don't know if it's a particular station, but it was definitely on the subway cars themselves, right. which was pretty cool. There must be some London Underground themed videos, but I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Uh, Kevin sent in a message as well saying, the New York City subway is unique in that certain lines have four tracks. The two in the middle carry express trains that only make certain key stops while local trains making all stops run on the outer tracks. Is that true? Very true. Very true. As a matter of fact, one of the express lines, I believe, is the A line, the dark blue line. Uh And also, I believe, uh, Kevin, you can correct me if I'm wrong, the number four, uh, the green line And they just bypass a load of stations to get somewhere quickly. Oh, we do have that in the UK as well. But like near the platforms, I don't think you can see the express trains. They go on a track that kind of circumvents that station. Here in Korea as well, I think we've got it on the Golden Line, line right. number nine. nine, isn't it? Kimpo, yeah. They yeah. have some express train. It can be a bit confusing when you're waiting and one just flies by and like, hey, where's I my was, train? I, yeah, I was very confused, actually. <laughs> Up until recently, I figured out how to tell which one's the uh, the Kupeng or the uh, express train. Oh, that's what we call it, isn't it? The Kupeng, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kevin says, uh, to get to a stop that's only served by the local train, what you have to do is change platforms from the express one to the regular one. Oh, that could be confusing as well. Here, I think, for Line 9, you just wait on the same platform. It's just the express ones go straight past. And they're actually on the same tracks I saw in front of the station. Mm -hmm. Maybe a new modern system. Uh, Let's play the song that you showed us the music video to there, Cedric. This is Yusan Sul, Yu Jesok's alter trot ego with Hapjong Station, exit number 5, Hapjong Yok, Obon Chugul. It was Cedric in the studio talking about unique places on the Seoul subway system. That was Yusan Sul, Hapjong Station, exit number five you filmed that as well Cedric and our producer was saying listen to the lyrics carefully and you'll find out why it's Hapjong Station you're familiar with Chong that emotional attachment right, right. so he was saying that if you bring it together, hapada means to combine. So combining your emotional attachment, hapjong, and thinking that you were going to be lifelong couple, but breaking up at that station is ironic. That's an interesting thing. Wow, that's thing. interesting. And actually, if you look at the video, it mm-hmm. makes sense now because Mangwon and also Sangsu Station yeah. uh, is on opposite sides of hapjong Oh, So hapjong uh, station is in there. the middle. Yeah. Oh, it's very, <laughs> it's very clever. Creative. Well done, you, Jesok. You don't need to be <laughs> (laughs) any more creative you're more than successful enough uh talk of hapjong station from our listeners who have been or know about it siska says omo my boss at hapjong station he wasn't there when i was there before but my boss just said he's been to hapjong station it's kind of trendy now there are some nice restaurants and there's that big center uh, which has, I think, apartments inside like Minsanapolis or something yeah, like that. Yes, yes, yes. They got a really good Indian restaurant around there as well. Delicious. Ah, I should check that out. Faz, benchmark. Uh, here in Malaysia, it's more like a hybrid where there's both a subway and a skyway. I guess that means the train goes under and also overground. Overground. Yeah, in Seoul, it's definitely vast majority underground, but there yeah. are portions on some of the lines where you're overground for a little while the london underground is what we call it or the tube that also has i believe if not 50 50 maybe even more overground than underground but we still keep the name underground and i think it's only in central london where the vast majority is under the streets but on the outskirts the suburbs a lot is overground what about new york is it almost exclusively under the surface? I would say most of it is under, uh-huh. uh, but some of the lines do go over as well. Okay. So they are traveling outside. I like being outside. I sometimes feel a bit claustrophobic when I'm <laughs> thinking how far underground right. I actually am. Uh, Yana also says, uh, Hapjong Station, the most memorable thing was meeting Cha Tae-hyun near the station. Cha Tae-hyun, the massive actor in Korea. You met him near... Hapjong Station. I don't think many celebrities ride the subway too frequently. No. Right? <laughs> That's not their mode of transport. I don't think so. No. And R- Raul says in Argentina, there is a subway, but only in Buenos Aires, the capital city. Yeah, it's only bigger metropolitan cities, I think, that have a subway. Like many cities in the States, I assume, don't have a subway system. Uh, most right? cities, I, I guess bigger cities do, most uh-huh. of them. If not, they have a bus transportation system. Okay. But, uh, most cities don't have subways 
systems. Yeah, I think and, it's the massive ones in Asia as well that do, right? Right, and even in Korea, if you think about it, only five of the major cities, if I'm not mistaken, has subway systems. Oh, really? You yeah. used to live down in Daejeon. I did. Did they have one? They did, and it was the smallest subway system, and it only had one line. Oh, really? <laughs> one line. That sounds really it's cute very convenient. and quaint. It, it was cute. So <laughs> it was very easy to get, you know, uh, from... Point A to point B. Did it service most of the city or if with one line, I assume it would have to miss out a lot of places. Yeah. So throughout the pretty much it splits the city in half. And uh -huh. if you needed to go further out, you can take the buses. The buses were pretty good in Tejan. Yeah. And also a lot of taxis. There's a lot of good infrastructure in Korea, which means the subway stations are linked directly to the bus stops straight outside the exit. And you can just get wherever you need to go from there. Uh, we're going to get on to some listener content now. First up, we have this from Cam. This is apparently BART, the Bay Area Rapid Transit. It looks a bit more old school in the infrastructure, a little bit worn as well. Right. And that's New York tickets. looks about similar as well. So the Bay Area, would that be maybe San Francisco, perhaps? I think so. You say the station I was at is just a few stops from San Francisco International Airport. Oh, yeah, that old school kind of LED signage looks a bit dated. Here in Korea, we have the full color screen showing you the subway car, where it's coming from and right. stuff. No screen doors as well in San Francisco. That now looks really dangerous to me, having lived in Korea for ages, <laughs> like a train it, just coming at you. It really is, especially with the amount of people that are just on their phones. They may not even notice how close they are. Yeah, during rush hour, you know, it's really easy, I guess, to get pushed towards that, right? Right, it looks oh, like an wow. airport here. You can see the airport straight ah. next to the track. That's amazing. It looks nice, a bit basic, but like nothing wrong with that subway system as well. Right. I'm wondering how much it costs in that area to ride the subway. I know, I remember in New York City, it was mm -hmm. quite expensive compared to Korea. I would say uh, more than two times expensive per ride. Yeah, the London Underground, I'd say more than maybe three or four times oh, expensive. Oh, my goodness. Because here in Korea, I think you get some single rides for less than a thousand won, like less than a dollar. And then depending on how much you take it, you're not going to spend more than, I guess, man on a day on it. Like, no. easy. But in the UK, you can easily spend upwards of man on a day on the subway system. It's a bit crazy. Cam goes on to say this train goes directly to the airport. Commuters use this to go to work, shop, or just travel. Parking is scarce and costly, so the Bay, uh, the BART is a good alternative. And first, we get the T card. You go down to the platform, signs displaying the arrival of the trains. And once at the airport, you can go directly to the international section. Uh, that's pretty cool, Cam. Thank you for taking the effort to film that as well. Uh, you can get to the airports here on the subway, right? Even in Chon Airport, they have that kind of overground thing, right, to take you yeah. out there. Yeah, they have the airport line that goes straight from uh, where I use, where, where I live, Hongdae Station, uh -huh. um, and it goes all the way to Incheon Airport, oh, both terminals. Hong Hongdae. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, my mum got recently the train to Gimpo Airport. The only problem is and take this into account there's a lot of walking from like the point you get off the subway to get into the actual airport itself right it's a good old walk good for your health i suppose today's hashtag uh we got one other clip as well from siska this is the mrt in jakarta uh this is inside the subways and that's all bts wow, wow. <laughs> And this is not that looks Korea. Like Korea. They have just plastered all the doors with BTS. How come? That is crazy. Wow, it looks, but it looks quite colorful there. Yeah. I like it. Um, yeah, the inside of the subway car doors also decorated with those advertisements. That does give a bright and airy feel to it. Looks like they're promoting a product like that. It's not just BTS love us or anything like that. <laughs> Wow, that's really cool. Do they have that in the States? Do they decorate like the subway cars with adverts as, as much as that? Well, it's decorated with graffiti in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there are ads. There's tons of ads in the subway car. I think uh -huh. subways are like, you have a captive audience of yeah. thousands upon thousands of people. So a lot of businesses take advantage of that. Yeah, I've seen though in Korean subway cars, I think the advertising inside is dying a little bit because everyone's on their smartphones like mm. not looking up even so there aren't as many ads as i used to see here but still i guess you're right it's a nice captive audience in the u.s in new york can you get smartphone signal underground 
like here um, in Korea? No, in Korea, you could definitely get it a lot easier. I remember struggling. Yeah, in yeah. the UK, it was at some stations, but I don't think while you're on the track, so it would just cut out. But here, I was amazed when I first came. People just talking on their phones underground. Right. I was like, what is this magic that's <laughs> happening? Unbelievable stuff. Uh, that's the end of this week's edition, Cedric. Uh, have we got a few ideas for what we're going to be doing perhaps next week? Yeah, so we're working it out, and um, you know, we've got a couple ideas in the works, and so we'll let you know. Sorry that we don't have anything definite just yet. Any ideas that you guys have as well, send them in. What would you like to see in career the weirder the better that we can dispatch cedric on <laughs> send me on some more dates guys yes absolutely some inter- maybe like boxing couple boxing oh, or something like that <laughs> that could be fun uh, any ideas that you have we'll give them to cedric and see if he likes the sound of those have a wonderful week and stay safe try to wear your mask when you can thank Ceddy, you very until much this all blows over have a good week guys um we're gonna get to some more music now this one is primary featuring paula alto and Binzi. Nos, hamos on me bong yok.